What's up guys, Raphael from Flip Switch Games here. Uh, what you're seeing here is some clips from our last trailer for the upcoming update for Emerge NYC. Uh, we've decided to release um, an asset on the asset store called Emergency Lights and Sirens. Um, so what our asset does is it handles any logic for emergency lighting or sirens, whichever you want to have in your game. This can be used for, uh, you know, AI. Let's say you want police to chase you or something in a Grand Theft Auto style game, you can do that. Or if you're making something similar to Emerge NYC where you're a cop, a firefighter, a paramedic, whatever it is, um, tow truck op operator, this is what you need. There's nothing like it out there on the asset store, which is one of the reasons we did this. Um, so uh, if you go to the asset store here and you go and type um, emergency... Yeah, that first one, that's what you're looking for there. That's our asset just published today. Um, it also comes with full documentation. Go ahead and check out the page. The link will be in the description. Uh, it comes with plenty of options, features, uh, and then this full documentation here, uh, which explains every component, what it does, how to use it. And we also have a fully functional demo scene with useful prefabs and obviously some a, some ways to contact us for support and troubleshooting if you're having any issues with our asset. So uh, some other assets we're gonna get into are our dynamic fire. But anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys uh, the demo scene here. So once you start the demo scene, you can see uh, you have three different types of lights with some controls. So if we cycle through our, our lighting stages, you can see our directional bar has three stages that you can cycle through with uh, the K key, or you can uh, designate a specific key for that function. As you can see, uh, the, the asset includes shaders for the lights to handle emission. Um, it also includes everything you need, really. Um, if if it doesn't include one thing, it's the post-processing stack that Unity that you can get uh, for free through the Unity packages, which will give you this this bloom effect off the lights. So if you download the asset and you don't have that effect, uh, go ahead and and download post-processing stack by Unity uh, via the pro the package manager. Alright, so this uh, asset is very flexible. You can really do what you want with it. So um, it also includes lights and sirens. So we'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Yeah, so uh, that's how that works, as you can see. So this is all stuff you can do in the demo scene, uh, which you can always transfer over to your project. So it obviously includes um, some siren sounds in the asset, um, which you can always replace them with custom sounds. So let's uh, move on to... Um, showing you guys sort of how the system works. Alright, so this is the main components, uh, which is VLS V2 vehicle controller and FFD siren controller. So if you go into your scripts folder, you can find all the components related to this asset. So for the siren control, you have siren output. That's where you designate the audio source that you want to play these sounds. Uh, and here you'll set all the sounds that you want for your sirens. Um, the keys, you can always change the variable for the keys. So you have your own custom controls. And these auto intervals, I'll show you that in just a second. 
Sorry about that. Okay, so this uh, bull is auto siren. Whenever that gets toggled, it will switch to automatically cycling between the siren sounds. Now these values here, you change them to uh, X is the minimum and Y is the maximum time that it'll play, and that's in seconds. So we set our variables. Now let's go ahead and toggle this bull again. <laughs> So that's how that works. Now that's good if you have AI or police or something that you want to uh, to chase you in your game or something. Um, basically, if you don't want to be worrying about that, you just use that bull. So, uh, okay. So now uh, if we look at the VLS ve vehicle controller, this is the p main component for lights. So you set your keys here. Um, the max modes is how many stages are in your lighting pattern. Usually it's three or four max. Um, you can set uh, trailer, uh, which is an object separate from the main object that has additional lights connected to the same system. The slider for UI, in case you have a 2D object you want to slide, which will switch between the stages. Uh, here is the flasher component, which handles all the timing for your patterns. So it's very complex to try to explain it's kind of you just have to mess with it so it goes from time off time on and time off so pattern a you can see is zero seconds off 200 well not seconds sorry but it's, i think it's milliseconds um or less i don't know the value exactly um but yeah this is how the lighting patterns are done in case those of you who play merge nyc watch this you can see how uh, each pattern is done. So pattern A would be your first stage, pattern B would be your second stage, and pattern C would be your third stage. Uh, you can have up to five stages and um, under type you can specify the type of light you want it to be, whether you want it to be an LED, uh, rotator, um, a halogen, or a semi-rotator. So here you can see we have LED. These corner lights are on pattern A right now, so they're off for zero on 200 and off 200, and then reset that pattern. So it's kind of like uh, if you've modded Emergency 4, it's kind of like the same how the lights work there. So as you see, now that we're on pattern 3, we're using that uh, pattern C for those corners so all those numbers basically translate into what you're seeing on the light bar so we're looking at L7 right now but there's a uh, think eight uh, groups as you can see um, the lights and the spotlights that are assigned to them are getting enabled and disabled with those timings and that's how that works so we recommend using our light bar prefabs uh, to get started, but once you kind of understand the system more, you can uh, create your own patterns and your own light bars and colors and and everything. Um, that's how that works. So if you look in the shaders folder and under materials, we have plenty of different light materials that you don't even have to make, basically for every color. Um, the redirectional bar, you can see there's four left and four right uh, lights, and they have the same pattern style. Uh, so we already have that set up, so feel free to use our redirectional prefab to, uh, to get started. So let's move over to rotators. You can see we have some rotators here. Now this one's pretty cool because it, it's red on the left side of that red line and it's blue on the other side. So if you look at the light, it changes colors. So that's an option we have. Uh, the rest of the lights, the far top one is a semi-rotator. So it goes left and right. The middle one is just a normal rotator that goes all the way around. So we have examples of each of those. Um, here you can see the, the types. So you have, you know, rotator, semi-rotator. You can also change uh, the speed 
this is changing the direction here. So negative one would be the opposite direction and one would be the, I believe, clockwise. And then down here you have your speed. So we can slow it down to one or we can make it 100 and go slow. Oh, and let's put it back to what it was before. And then this is the value of the angle at which the light color should change if that's an option you have selected. So if you look now the light's red and then it turns blue just in between that angle and we'll put it back to normal. And here you can specify for the pattern if you want it to be a semi-rotator or a rotator or colored or you know whatever you want it to do. So this right light can be semi-rotating the first pattern and then turn, and turn into a rotator and then the last pattern it can turn into a colored rotator that changes colors. So you can do really unlimited options. So this is a great uh, starting point for those of you who want to do something similar to what I've been doing with Unity these last couple of years. Um, this will save you a lot of time. It's only $15. I paid probably $500 for this system by the end of the time it was done um, in work hours. So it's definitely saving you money, time, and a lot of work. It's a very well thought out system um, with all the things that I needed for my game which should be more than enough for whatever you need it for. Um, it, ha it will handle your lighting solution and your sirens. So I'll leave the link in the bio below. Feel free to go pick that up. If not, um, if you like, you know, what you saw in the beginning, that's my game, Emerge NYC. If you're not familiar with it, uh, go, like, go check it out. It's an early access game. We've got a new update coming pretty soon. And um, we have new assets that we will be putting out uh, pretty soon. Uh, one will be the dynamic fire and propagation, which will be a system where uh, fire can spread throughout a building or a room or whatever you want it to. And you can put it out with water or whatever you want to use. And it will have, you know, accurate effects of steam and smoke and spreading and damage and, and whatnot, really. Um, and then also we will be having a suite of tools that I use to make Emerge NYC um, that I will release on the asset store as well. So keep an eye out for those two things and if you like the asset please review it. Thanks.